How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here and welcome to another great game in World of Tanks Xbox One Edition. Today I'm going to be in the Tier 10 French Tank Destroyer, the Foch 155, or as it's known on the PC, the Foch B, because this tank on the console, instead of being a completely different tank, actually has the 155mm gun package separate from the 120mm gun both have uh, drums. The 155mm gets 293 pen on the AP rounds and the and like 395 on the heat rounds. But the 120mm, which I would be I will be playing with today, has a measly 258 millimeter pen on it for the AP rounds and 325 for the APCR round, which makes it I said that r the word rounds weird. I didn't. Moving on. Uh, this tank is not overpowered. I just want to get that out of the way right now. Just because it can clip out tanks with 2400 health. It, the 6 round drum that the 120mm has, as opposed to the 155 getting the 3 round drum, it's... It, 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 it's only viable in certain situations, and the situations that you're going to get all six shots to actually pen and hit your target are pretty rare. Like, without taking any damage, it's pretty hard not to do damage to this thing. Like, you have the giant fucking uh, Commander Coppola, the T-bar, the as I like to call it, on top of the tank, and then there's a ball Coppola right next to it on the right side. Or if you're looking at it face on, I guess it's the ball cupola on the left and the T-bar on the right. But if you hit anywhere on the T-bar except for the very left and the very right, you're going to pen it. Because it has like 150 millimeters of protection on it. And the hull of the Foch 155, Foch B, whatever the fuck you want to call it, is like, it can be penned, I'm going to say... 75% reliable by any other tier 10 tank destroyer or even tier 9 and if you shoot premium at the front of this thing it's gonna go through if it's not angled at all it's gonna go through no problem keep in mind that the Foch still has to aim and it doesn't have a fucking turret on it so there's that but I see some tanks just not paying attention before the bridge I bounce off the Amil 1's gun for some fucking reason but whatever I've got plenty of shots to make him die. So there he goes. The Patton's trying to back up. I see a fucking shit barn. I get a free pen on him before he's finished aiming at me. And he tries to snapshot me by not aiming at his shot all the way. And that biffs his shot right into, the, right into the side of the cliff there. So I was really lucky I didn't get one hit there. I fucking hate those tanks. They're no skill tanks. They're played by RNG. Just like fucking artillery. And... It takes no skill to play it whatsoever. The only skill you need is wait for the enemy to fire, poke out, take a hit, and then unleash a 2200 dealing or damage dealing shell. It's retarded. If it pens, it'll one hit your tank. It's so stupid. They need to nerf the fucking penetration on the hash from 275 or whatever bullshit that it is to like. 200 like I understand that the British get the fancy uh, high explosive hash for their like heavies and shit but that's only 150 millimeters of pen or, well yeah around 120 millimeters of penetration and that works just like high explosive but it just has more pen and that's what hash is but it's horse shit I fucking hate those tanks. Whoever drives one is a piece of shit in my opinion. I don't care how good your win aid is. I don't care how high you are on the leaderboards for World of Tanks in all of its entirety. If you play those tanks, like, religiously, over and over again, especially in platoons, doubling up, same thing with artillery, you're a piece of shit. And you should stop playing the game. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> you don't have to share it or agree with it. It's just my opinion. But yes, I'm very, very adamant about that. Because, uh, yeah, 
I don't like people who play those tanks. It's stupid. It really is, and this is why you load premium in this thing, because without premium, I would have little to no chance to pen this fucker. Unless I hit him in the ball joints, which are still pretty small. So why not aim for the lower uh, plate of his tank? And I know my team's coming up behind me, so I'm just going to decide to back off very slowly while I reload my clip. Of course, another round of premium ammunition never hurt anybody. But, yeah, this tank, <laughs> whoever calls it overpowered, is absolutely a tool, because it is anything but. I've had only decent games in this thing. It, this is probably one of the better of the recent games that I've had in it. Like, I'm going to be shot at by this medium, I do believe. Or, no, he's going off to face the, the rest of my team. Okay, but there he goes, and there's the last shot into him that I needed. And I think the last remaining guy is an E4, and I'm just going to speed this up because nobody wants to see me drive from our spawn all the way to their base. So yeah, he's in the very classic camping position back at their base. I don't really want to get one-tapped by him because I know his shell will probably, if not normal, roll me. It definitely won't low roll because I'm in this tank and he's in that one. And if that doesn't make sense then I don't know what to tell you. I tried to hit his hatch, get a free hit on his uh, gun cheek, or his turret cheek, sorry, and then the waffle finishes him off. So, yeah, this was a very one-sided battle. As you can see, our team barely lost any tanks, but this is, like, if I had 2,000 spotting damage or something like that, I probably would have gotten an ace tanker in this thing. But this is a very decent game, so I just figured I'd show what it looked like. I really hope to get like a crazy damage game in this thing, but honestly, I don't see it any happening anytime soon. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.